I brought with me a violin which was made at the violin school in 2008 and it was donated to Lutia Sans Frontier and uh, I brought it uh, to Kabul to give to the violin uh, to the music school here. So it's uh, made in the annual fiddle race by a group of students called the Five Beards and um, we've tracked you all down now guys so we know who you are um, but you can be really proud of yourselves this is a really nice violin I don't know who varnished it but it's done in this kind of repro style and I've I have to say I've added a few finishing touches as well hope you didn't mind but um, anyway it looks great and um, I'm sure the school are going to be thrilled to have a violin of this quality um, also I fitted a set of um, Whitner mechanical pegs to this violin as a kind of a road test um, it was uh, just an idea I had to try and bring these out here and just see how they worked um, so because of the climate in Kabul with the humidity and the very dry summers uh, it'll be interesting to see how they um, uh, fare but I'm sure they'll be very good the obvious advantage is there's no need for uh, fine adjusters so thank you to Barnes and Mullins for that and uh, we'll let you know how we get on and I'm really looking forward to the presentation when uh, William Harvey is going to play the violin so well done everybody <laughs>